Okay, I'm just going to walk you around the car. Uh, it's a lovely day in Preston today. As you can see there, it's got the chrome Mercedes grill, finished in black, the little lip spoiler there. Multi-spoke alloy wheels. We have the chrome uh, window and body separator, and then black on the top rail. And the bumper there, reversing sensors. The integrated tailgate spoiler. Now, I need three or four hands for this. Let's have a look. Sorry about this. There you go. Sport seats on the front. And then absolutely mint cloth and probably Artico leather, I would imagine. The uh, red stripe there. Isofix child seat anchor points. Rear centre armrest. And uh, kind of sculpted even sports back seats. The aluminium trims around the door handle in the oops I need at least three hands there you go lovely dashboard front center armrest and the front sport seats all absolutely mint it's a really really beautiful car Gee whiz, what a foul day. My name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our uh, Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Mercedes-Benz A-Class 1.5 A180 CDI SE 7G DCT. It's 2015 on a 64 plate. It has done 54,302 miles. Automatic transmission. Fuel economy, urban 61.4 miles per gallon, extra urban 78.5 miles per gallon and combined 70.6 miles per gallon. Has a 0-60 time of 11.6 seconds, a top speed of 118 miles per hour out of a 108 brake horsepower 8 valve engine. Road tax is only £20 per annum and uh, this car is MOT'd until the 3rd of February 2021. Now it's it's a really nice car. It's it's absolutely spotless inside. Looks like a brand new car, and it's it's the same outside. Really, really nice. Good service history, which I'll cut in later. I can uh, I can show you. That's all the 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 invoices. I just need to sort them out and redact them before I can. Uh, show anybody but uh, it has been well serviced and well looked after book packs in the glove box as well it didn't have sat nav but we've bought the little module so uh, now it has um, got just about everything I uh, I always seem to get to do these Mercedes-Benz with the gear change on the column when it's raining and I can guarantee there we go we've got reversing sensors I can guarantee that when we're driving along I'll go to either change the wipers or switch them on and I'll knock it into neutral <laughs> but that's uh, that's all down to pilot error there we go As I say, absolutely spotless. Lance has actually uh, he's cleaned this one as well, and um, it's the car's ready to go. Oops, I nearly, I nearly did it then. I nearly went to speed the wipers up and knocked it into neutral. Somebody's dropped a broom there. We've got pan. Well, it's automatic. We've got paddle shift 
on the steering wheel here at behind the quarter to three positions. We've got a nice information display in between the uh, speedo on the left and the rev counter on the right. At the moment, bearing in mind it's just been uh, ticking over, it's kind of got an eco display. And uh, it's three green bars for acceleration. Let me get around here. Constant and coasting. Turn that up, get the heater on. We've got aircon as well. Uh, nice radio there. It's Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. So terrible day in the UK today. Yesterday, the sun was cracking the flags. Today is like a monsoon. Just uh, get back to that. See they're con controlling it from here. Switch it to nav. And there we go. You have got Bluetooth audio streaming. If you can if you knock that up and onto audio, you see there it's uh, wherever my phone is there. It, uh, Hey Siri, play music. There we go, so Bluetooth audio streaming as well. Bluetooth hands free. A great level of specification. Got to uh, just check the door mirrors here. Sure, everything works. Yep. Electric windows all round. Nice size car, very economical. The cruise control and speed limiter on the left here, which I'll uh, just demonstrate when we get on the motorway. I think you press the end in for speed limiter and uh, yeah just that's so it just click up and we can knock it up in five mile an hour segments I think that was showing me, there's a red light came on the dash then. I think it was probably showing me that uh, too close to that car in front. That's your uh, stop start to knock it off. We've also got here, let's just have a look. There you go, it's uh, swapping from sport to manual to economy. What are we in now? I think we're in the economy. But... There you go. Just override it with the paddle shift there. This car was absolutely spotless. Um, Lance is absolutely going to go eight. <laughs> going to need washing again because we we always uh, disinfect the cars when they come in, just before they go out, and after anybody's been to see them. If for any reason they don't buy it, which is unusual these days because we're kind of virtually one to one, although since everybody's been told that the, you can't just go browsing around forecourts, it would seem that over the last four or five years, customers have got fewer and fewer until they're almost non existent. They phone up, do a deal, just come and pick the car up. 
since we've had this coronavirus, all that's gone out the window. People want to come and browse now. It's, uh, it is unbelievable. So if you're interested in this car or any of our other cars, please ring first. Um, if any dealers will let you just go and browse around, then I would suggest that they're not taking the uh, virus seriously and uh, they care more about selling cars than they do about your and their own safety. Don't forget, dealers' lives matter too. We, we had a chap came yesterday and he was, he was most put out that I wouldn't let him look in a car. And then he said, well, I've just been to five other dealers. They all let me, it didn't bother them. And that's precisely why it bothers us. The, the cross contact of, of that one person going to five garages, sitting in at least five different cars, and then coming and sitting in one of ours, or, you know, we, we're just trying to do things right. We want to sell cars, but we want to, we want to sell proper cars, and we want to sell them in the right way. We, we don't, you know. We, uh, we don't take chances with cars or safety. So back to the car. This kind of imitation carbon fiber look on the dash and the, uh, the softer top leather look. Nice matte black what would be a gear tunnel but of course as I say the the gear shift selector is up here on the um, on the steering column multifunction steering column telephone controls and here as you can see we can change there onto navi click navi that tells you the direction you're traveling think that's a bit of a I had a pair of shoes when I was a kid called Wayfinders and the whole attraction of buying these shoes was there's a little compass in the in the heel I never needed it <laughs> it's the same with that direction of travel what what, what difference does it make I mean, sat nav's great god look at that that's that doesn't look very safe it's uh, it's slid at the top the back end's hanging out. Here we go, let's get past these wagons. Great steering. Nice sporty little car. I have to say, I'm not a fantastic passenger. And I used to work for Mercedes, and when the A-Class came out, there, were, there was a, a, a problem in changing directions at 60 mile an hour like what, while keeping your foot on the accelerator, which nobody in the right mind would do, and the, the cars tipped over. So they were, uh, they were fitted with this system, which we were told <laughs> came out of a cruise missile which corrected the car and we were taken around the track with a, a professional racing driver who then steered between two inflatable objects at 60 miles an hour whilst keeping the foot on the accelerator and uh, so I, I, I can swear that these, as with all Mercedes-Benz, engineered very very well, you see now. Um, I actually, uh, when I was sales manager at, at Mercedes at Blackpool and the A-Class came out, I, I put myself a, a 1.9 turbo diesel with every extra on and I, living in Preston here there was a, the M6 roundabout and when it was quiet at night I used to uh, kind of keep my foot down and the car would break the wheels and basically steer around the roundabout without you 
taking your foot off the accelerator. So they, they've always been good cars, but the, the first ones didn't look that good, in all honesty. These are nice. They're great seats. It uh, look, looks really, really sporty. Very, very clean car. Or it was when I started out. I'll uh, pull over in a short while and I'll show you how to set the sat nav, how to pair your mobile, how to delete a mobile, and how to stream audio through the system. Uh, great car, and uh, hopefully tomorrow we have a, a really lovely BMW 4 Series, which I'll be uh, videoing. Thanks for watching.